Here we are at Lake Sumter Landing this morning. And before we do anything, let's get the sun up so we can see where we're going. <laughs> so here's a sunrise for you. This is looking out um, over Sunrise Park. And the sun is coming up with some nice colors this morning, lots of orange. And it's looking pretty nice. So let's enjoy the sunrise and uh, we'll continue on with our journey here. And what we're going to do now is get on the golf cart and we're at going to ride, drive over the uh, bridge that takes us into Lake Sumter Landing. And while we're driving, I'll tell you a little about a little bit about uh, the history of Lake Sumter Landing. It was built in 2004. That's when it opened in August 2004. Uh, the theme is in this town square is that of a colorful waterfront setting, and some folks think it looks like a quaint seaside village. One of the landmarks of Lake Sumter Landing is the Lighthouse Restaurant. Like the other two town squares, there is free nightly entertainment 365 days a year. This town square is sometimes referred to as Market Square and is home of the Old Mill Playhouse Movie Theater. In fact, there's a movie theater in all of the three town squares. A nice uh, variety of exclusive shops and stores are here, plus several restaurants and some of them are really good. And there's even a radio station and an exclusive uh, golf car gas station that also has new golf car sales and service and it has a golf car sitting on the roof of the uh, roof of the uh, store. Anyway, but anyway, what, I'll have a little shot for you about a little later too. Also, I have a couple of bonuses for you today. Um, the first bonus is I'm gonna finish off with a beautiful sunset. Where do you see the sunset? And uh, also, uh, we're going to give you a really nice look at the dragon boats. Where do you see the dragon boats that are coming up there? They're really uh, amazing to watch. And as we come over the bridge, we start to see Lake Sumter Landing. And over on the right-hand side, you look at the houses. A theme in here, of course, is like an oceanside, seaside village. And look at the uh, houses, and they're quite like that. Um, they have a great look of being in some seaside village somewhere in the United States. So uh, we're going up here to the end, and when we get to the end, we're going to take a right, and if we drive straight, uh, we'll come right in after a few hundred yards, uh, right into the center of town of Lake Sumter Landing. So let's take a right and take a look. Okay, so we've taken the right, and we're golf carting our way, or golf carring our way towards the center of Lake Sumter Landing. And by the way, when we get down there, once we stop and we got to show you a few things, we're going to take a, uh, a ride around the boardwalk, which is kind of interesting. And we'll take a speed up ride. It's going to be a little bit on the fast side, but you'll be able to see it pretty well. Anyway, we're heading towards the center of Lake Sumter Landing and stores on the left and right. I think that's a big bank right there on the left, that yellow building. I'm trying to remember some of the stores. Triple A's down here. Um, and as we get closer to the center of town, you'll see more restaurants. Um, you're going to see Panera Bread up on the right. There's a lot of uh, places to eat. Now, straight ahead is the town square. And that's where they have live music 365 days a year. Off to the right there, that white building is the um, sales office for the villages. And in back, you can get a trolley if you set it up. You can get a trolley that will take you on a tour of the villages. Off to the right is Lake Sumter, and it's pretty huge. It's off to the right. Um, the radio station is off to the right, too. They have their own radio station here. That's pretty cool. And coming up is right there in front of us is Red Sauce. In fact, my wife and I ate there just the other night. Very good food. We had a nice lunch there. Um, and it was excellent. Some more shops. There's another. I know where all the ice cream shops are. There's one right in there, too. <laughs> I love ice cream. And a corner here is City Fire. I like City Fire. One of the things I like is that overhanging roof so that you can sit out there and dine outside uh, almost all year round. There's beautiful theaters right there, Johnny Rockets. And we're going to pull in here, and I want you to look at, <clears throat> look at the... Um, Look at the clock there, because I'm going to show you something. Now, we're going to go over to the clock. I want you to wait for it. It's 
interesting clock, and it gives off a little toot. But you have to be here at the right time, and it's usually on the hour, or just one minute after the hour, that it will two beautiful flowers, by the way, all around it. But wait for it. It's coming. It's coming just about now. There you go. <laughs> you got to love it. So a couple of area restaurants that I thought you'd like to be interested in and be interested in seeing. One is Johnny Rockets under new management. Great guy. I met him the other day. Uh, the food is great. The atmosphere is so unique. Kind of like a 50s diner almost. It's, it's just a lot of fun. The staff is terrific. Those little jukeboxes, things you might remember. If you remember the 50s, you could actually put a quarter in there or a nickel. It used to be a nickel and play a record on the jukebox. So um, just a really nice atmosphere in there and lots of fun. Panera Bread, now Panera's been around for a long time. There's two Panera Breads that I know of in the villages. Always a good spot to get something to eat. And um, you can set either, like most of the restaurants here, inside or out. New one is called a Flying Biscuit. And I love the name. Had breakfast here the other morning, it was very good. Um, they just have a unique menu and uh, unique food, and you can see what I had for breakfast the other morning. Last one is the Lighthouse, and the, one of the reasons I really love the well, Lighthouse is I'm from New England, the owner's from New England, and there's a lot of New England memorabilia up on the wall. Great Lobster, L-O-B-S-T-A, Lobster, uh, twice a week, and uh, Inside or outside dining, they're right on Lake Sumter, so you're dining right on the water. Very, very nice place. Great people. Here's the golf car dealership I was telling you about. Boy, it's huge. Golf cars are, or golf carts, whatever you want to call them, is huge here in the villages. These are probably rentals from the snowbirds in the winter, and people come down just for the day to rent a golf cart. So it's a big, big uh, business down here and there's a big service department here and showroom new uh, golf car sales and we'll take a swing around here so we line up for service it's amazing and it's all golf cars now it gets even better up on the roof there's a golf car you'll see up on the roof a golf car see it right there and then right below that golf car are the is the filling station for golf cars only how about that? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> All right, paddles overhead. Everybody gets the gunnel. Get those hips over there. That's better. All right. That's not bad, folks. See how the front's going. Let's just uh, prepare to paddle. <laughs> Go. All right, safety in the boat. If the boat should go over, find your partner. 